It might seem a little bit blasé or it might seem a little bit too cheesy as an answer, but the youth of the future. If, if the youth aren't interested in something, then it's not going to happen in the future. One could argue that the Apollo missions created a huge amount of energy and a huge, huge amount of interest in the youth of the world, mm -hmm. and then nothing ever panned out about it. And unfortunately, where we find ourselves now is in a vacuum. There hasn't been the great achievements of the Apollo missions. There hasn't been the achievements of, of uh, the Gemini and Mercury astronauts. I think, you know, our society has grown more technological and for society to make decisions about what things to support, uh, what energy sources to use, I think the more uh, people know about the technologies and the science, uh, the better off all of us will be. So uh, I think projects, uh, space projects, for example, I think do inspire people to, to learn more about, uh, about science and um, hopefully feel that they can participate. I mean, the web is an invaluable resource. We're all watching the rovers on Mars with great uh, anticipation. And uh, I think that, uh, that really helps because as a society as a whole, we've become more knowledgeable about our place and our place in the universe. We do have this growing, aging population that if we don't pass on that knowledge, we're going to lose it all. Would you believe that, we, that the Americans do not have the technology to go back to the moon today? They've lost the capability of how to build a Saturn V rocket. Nobody knows how to do it anymore. They didn't document it properly. The people who did build it are now gone, and so you, you've lost the technology. We're about to do the same thing with everything that Canada has succeeded in in the past because we don't have the ability to pass it on to the next generation. And so unless we create a seed that then blossoms into something larger, we'll never get out of this phase of brain drain, of, of non-scientific, non-engineering work. And maybe we all will be Glee students. Okay, we'll have a good entertainment system, an entertainment industry, but where will that bring society? I'd like to think that science and space bring something a little bigger to humanity than a rock and roll station. Whatever your skills, whether your skills are in the theory or whether your skills are with a soldering gun and a uh, voltmeter or whether it's more in terms of the basic science, the geology or the mining or the electrical engineering, there's a full spectrum of uh, things that uh, a student could be involved in. I think people need to follow their hearts. I think they need to follow what interests them and then good things will, will come their way. I, I truly believe that. Um, so if you're interested in science, that's where you need to go. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to pursue. If you're interested in arts, that's where you need to go. That's what you need to do. Science fiction is becoming science fact faster and faster. Yes, North America, Canada is at the leading edge of that. I'd like to keep it that way. Um, as much as I might have grandiose ideals for Canada that might not be true. I'd like to think that we're for a peaceful coexistence on, human on the earth as well as in space. There are other nations that don't have such lofty goals. And so they are gaining very big strength in this industry. They're producing many, many more engineers than we are at all levels, undergrad, masters, PhDs. And unless we can do something to entice our youth to, to stay in this game, like much of the other industry in Canada, we'll be offshoring this very important phase that Canada was originally a pioneer in, and we might never see it come back. Science and engineering builds the future, and we have to have, we, we don't have enough people in science and engineering. I can, I can tell that by the vast numbers of people we have to import from overseas to fill our engineering positions. And not that there's anything wrong with that. But it also means that Canadians are not taking advantage of opportunities that other people see clearly. And I really would like to see, uh, I'd like to see us really at schools emphasizing science and engineering. And because we're going to build a future, we're going to build a future.